Awesome. Live everywhere. Right. So, Facebook, Instagram. Let me get settled. All right. Welcome. Live number 15, and I thought I better get this out early so it's a little bit impromptu, but that is because I have a really, really busy day today. I've got to be out of the house, and I want to pass on this information this week um, from my three part series um, of why you must exercise. Um, the first one was on mobility and why you must do that. The second one was strength training and why you must do that. And today's focus is on cardio and why you must do cardio activity in your life for the rest of your life. Um, and I have all my notes ready for you guys. Uh, you can watch this on the replay. It's earlier than normal. So I know that lots of you have work, kids, it's school holidays and um, Feel free to leave your comments afterwards um, or you can comment now if you are here and live someone is here um, say hello if you're here um, and I'll say hi and answer any questions that you have um, about cardio activity I um, next week want to speak about um, nutrition and all of that sort of stuff being winter and how to stay in shape this whole winter. Um, one of those ways is to do cardio, which we're talking about today. Um, cardio has been part of my life for a long time now. I love what cardio gives me. I love the, um, hello Nat Warland, gee I miss you. So a few of my clients have been sick it's been terrible this winter um, and they've been sick and unwell and virusy and all sorts of things um, but it's been good because we've been focusing on nutrition lately um, which I know will help make you feel better uh, more energetic at least and help rebuild your immune system but that's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about why you must exercise, the three-part series focusing on cardio activity today. If you missed the other two, feel free to hop onto my YouTube channel um, and there'll be one on strength training and why you must do that and mobility training and why you must do that. Um, and then I'll pop this one up on YouTube later to watch on the replay. So, um, we're talking about cardio and when I first started doing um, cardio, you know, at school I was never fit. Um, my parents never took me to little athletics or anything like that. Um, we never really did much cardio stuff. So I was never really good at it. So whenever there was like a fun run or something, I hated it because I would die and I would get a stitch and I didn't know how to run and all of that sort of stuff. And then um, last year, I thought I'm going to make it a goal this year for me to run 5Ks uh, non-stop. And for those of you that know me, know that I can't run 5Ks non-stop. But guess who reached their goal? I was practicing a lot from the start of this year and I reached my goal, hi Charlotte, of running 5Ks uh, in a matter of a few months. So now I have to aim for 8 to 10Ks. Um, so all I recommend with jogging is to pace yourself, don't do what anyone else does do what you want to do, listen to your Achilles tendon, <laughs> listen to your calves, listen to your body. You have to recover very well when you start jogging because it is a high impact sport. Now, that is one form of cardio. I'm not here to preach jogging, but it is the best form of cardio activity to make you feel happier. And the reason why you must exercise, um, and we're focusing today on cardio, is because of the feeling that it gives you after of being happy and energetic and unstoppable and unbeatable and 
you just feel on top of the world, like you could conquer anything. And I want you all to be able to experience that feeling of euphoria. So what I want to talk about today is why cardio will do that for you. Katie Diver. Hi. Katie is on Facebook. Nat is on Instagram. You've both been really unwell and you both have babies that are passing on sicknesses to you and I, I hate that you guys have been so sick um, and I can't wait till you guys feel stronger and we just get back to training, back to routine and feel well again. Um, so let's begin. Movement is key first. You look so black town right now. Is that because of my... <laughs> Katie said I look so black town right now and that's because of my beanie but the reason I'm wearing a beanie is because it's bloody freezing here in Sydney it's so cold I got up super early today 5 a.m. to go to Bikram yoga by 6 a.m. and boy it was windy and boy it was cold but I loved the hot room and I feel loose now and my hair's not washed so after this I'll have a shower and wash it Katie and then I'll take off my beanie. Um, so, cardio, why should we do it? Performing your best, having you perform at your best is my mission for all of my clients. So that's why I do these lives because I want you guys to have all the information um, that I know and that I can pass on. <laughs> Katie wrote that was Joe. Joe, go away. Um, he's making fun of my beanie. Um, and I want you guys to be able to have the tools to perform at your best as well. There is nothing like it, um, whether it's at work, whether it's um, at the gym, whether it's in your daily life, whether it's being a mum at home, you should always feel like you can perform at your best. And if you can't, this is one simple way to make sure that you can, and that's cardio activity. If you feel down in the dumps, I always say do a gym class, do you know? if. Uh, if work is stressing you out, go and do some exercise. Um, are you tired of feeling weak? Do a strength class. Are you fighting with someone? Go out for a walk. Are you just feeling um, lazy? Get up and do something. Move. Any sort of um, activity will help really. Um, are you losing your breath going up the stairs? Then go for a jog and start increasing that lung capacity and start working on your heart. Um, oh, hello, Joseph Diver, you're watching now. Joseph, leave my beanie alone. At least I have hair. Joseph, <laughs> why is it important to my happiness? I always say cardio. Why is cardio important to your happiness? Um, if you have a healthy mind, you will have a healthy life. I always say that and you will always have a healthy body. So healthy mind, healthy life, healthy body. They all go hand in hand. Um, cardio helps your mind, especially if you are someone that has suffered with any mental health issues. It helps to improve um, the function of your circulatory system and your lungs. It also helps um, prevent the risk of serious diseases. Um, and it really helps reduce them a lot. Um, especially if you engage in a cardio routine for a very long time. So I don't mean doing cardio for five minutes one week and then half an hour another week. I'm talking doing cardio consistently for three to five years plus. So if you haven't been doing that, start now. The rest of your life is a long time away. So make sure you're constantly adding cardio into your life and it, the benefits just keep accumulating and accumulating the more you do it okay um joseph actually katie said it and i wrote it good idea for the cardio though says joseph um yeah joe you should start doing some cardio take your baby pop him in a pram and go for a jog with the pram um guys if you have questions be, uh, feel free to write them up and I'll look at them and I'll answer them as we go. Um, there are hormones that uh, get released during cardio, which is what I want to delve into today. Nat, you're on Facebook now. 
Um, she said, do you recommend cardio if you have pneumonia? I suppose it depends what stage you're at. <laughs> if you're really bad, then no. Listen to your body. If you feel strong enough to go for a walk, go for a walk. Um, so also don't let big disease names scare you. You have to be diagnosed with something when you go to the doctor. So listen to your body. Don't listen to these big scientific terms and freak the hell out. Like, oh my God, I've got blah, blah, blah. It's okay. You will survive. Your human is just needing something. So try to figure out what your human is needing at that point in time. If it's rest and recovery, you rest and recover. If you feel like you're, you're too low in energy, then go for a walk and up up that energy intake always look at your nutrition and all of that sort of stuff when you have an illness petrushka hello welcome to uh, my live and why we must do cardio why cardio must be part of our life so um the hormones that we re that we release as we do cardio this is the reason why i feel fantastic after i do cardio it's the reason why you feel fantastic after you do cardio and it's the reason why everyone feels fantastic and remember what I'm going to say now it keeps accumulating so the more you do it the more you will feel better amazing unstoppable endorphins endorphins are introduced to your body during exercise um, because they fight pain and they also allow you to continue to work out so running releases the most endorphins which is why i was saying uh running is the best form of cardio to do it's okay if you don't want to do it i'll talk about it later but running releases more endorphins than any other form of cardio so i noticed that when i started jogging at the beginning of this year that i started feeling fantastic i started shredding a little bit of excess weight that i didn't need to carry and people were noticing People were saying to me, um, hey, Sherry, nice to see you. Let me give you a little wave. Feel free to write comments and stuff if you want to know anything while I'm on here. I won't be long. I'm only going to be here for half an hour. Um, but I started feeling amazing and people were commenting um, like what I was doing. And I literally just started jogging and teaching myself how to jog because I sucked at jogging. And I thought no one else is going to do it for me but me. So I had to set the example for my clients as well because I started to get them to jog on our cardio day. Um, and the first time I said to them, we're gonna run for 10 minutes, they looked at me like I was crazy. They looked at me and said, I haven't ever jogged for two minutes and you expect us to jog for 10 minutes today? And guess what? Most of them did it. And guess what happened after? everyone felt fantastic so i knew what was going to happen after because of all the research that i've done um so i knew they were going to feel fantastic but they didn't know it until they finished joseph wrote back in the day he found that if he had a cold if i have a cold i don't exercise when i'm very sick because my body needs resources to fight the virus bacteria um, then when I only had a mild cough, sneeze, I get back into exercise, but drank a lot more water. Yep, so Nat, I hope that helps. Um, thank you, Joseph, for saying that. Always listen to your body if you're sick and if you have an illness. Um, rest and recover is first, especially if you're in that acute stage of your illness or sickness or flu. Uh, if you've got aches and stuff, listen to your body and just chill out come and visit me use the infrared sauna um, nourish yourself like a newborn baby um, and so that you can get the strength okay really focus on your nutrition um, who's that pilates 360 hello nice to see you we're talking about cardio um, i did a post uh, a live about mobility three weeks ago pilates is a great way to get mobile guys Pilates 360, feel free to follow them on Instagram. Um, so the first hormone that gets released, as I said, is the endorphins. Um, and you get most of this from jogging, but you can also get it from other cardio activity. Don't stress if you're not a jogger. Um, endorphins serve not only to fight pain, but also to increase the feelings of euphoria fight depression, reduce stress, stress, and slow down the uh, signs of aging. OMG, that 
I just in itself like why wouldn't you start doing your cardio just by knowing that once your endorphins get released your whole life will start getting better another hormone that gets released is called serotonin you may have heard of this term um, it's the hormone that's responsible for the feelings of love I clearly have too much serotonin right what do you reckon guys because I'm all about love and I know did you know serotonin gets released through the tummy um, anyway that, that's for another day but serotonin um, it's the hormone that's responsible for the feelings of love during cardio exercise your blood is flooded with this chemical once it reaches the brain it works to boost your mood and fight depression it also helps to regulate your sleep your memory and your appetite that's how important that hormone is so you know uh, people that have depression have usually been told that they lack uh, serotonin um, that's why for those of you that do have any mental health issues I'm constantly messaging you saying come back to the gym come to the gym home is not gonna help you you need to come because I know once these chemicals get released in the brain how much better you're gonna feel even if it's just 1% better or 5% better. That's better than what you're feeling right now when you're down in the dumps. Dopamine is another hormone that gets released. Dopamine, it's an integral part of your brain's reward system. So your body releases it in the hopes that you will want to exercise again. It's like a bribe. <laughs> so it's the chemical that makes you wanna eat it's the chemical that makes you want to be around friends. Um, it's also the chemical that is responsible for addictions, which is why um, exercise is useful for recovering addicts or um, if you've had any sort of addictive personality or behaviors in life, you'll find that if you start doing cardio, you start feeling amazing. You want more and you want more and you want more. Feelings of pleasure and well-being are associated with dopamine, okay? So the feel good stuff cardio not only increases the amount of chemical this chemical in your blood but also the amount of receptors for it in your brain it's powerful stuff cardio that's why on fridays i force it into your life so at least i know i'm taking care of that once a week for you and hopefully you guys do the rest so uh two to five hundred minutes of cardio the more you do um, the better it is for your fat loss goals um, 90 minutes is the minimum that Australia recommends you do per week um, so if the long-term benefits of possibly protecting yourself from health damage many years down the line if that doesn't motivate you right what I just said about those hormones if that doesn't motivate you the long-term effects of cardio maybe the short-term increase in happiness will so if you're not a hundred percent happy you can get happy in just 10 minutes 10 minutes of cardio um, in any case look it's clear that cardiovascular exercise has benefits that will drastically improve the quality of your life and I'm all about that holistic living I want you guys to be as energetic and as happy as I am every day I want you guys to love life and appreciate it and be grateful for it as much as I am no matter how shit you think your life is or how many bad things are thrown your way or how much bad luck you seem to have um you can start turning that around simply by incorporating a cardio routine so how does exercise improve your happiness exercise does so many things to the brain um and as i spoke about first was the endorphins so these hormones are released um that are produced by the central nervous system um, and the pituitary gland within the brain. Their main job is to inhibit the transmission of pain sig signals, this is endorphins, but they also produce that feeling of euphoria that I mentioned just before. Um, so that's what makes you feel happier instantly and the effects will last for a good amount of time. Um, endorphins are the feel-good chemicals that are released through the exercising. Um, your body will also produce the things that I said before, serotonin, 
also something called norepinephrine, also something called BDNF, which is um, physical exercise can affect how much of the certain proteins that are made in the brain. So in particular, the levels of protein called BDNF. Okay, I don't want to complicate it, but BDNF stands for brain derived neurotrophic factor. It increases with exercise. This is a good thing. Um, and your body will also produce dopamine, um, which is the reward chemical. So all of these chemicals have a positive effect on your mind. So the bottom line is the combination of those five hormones that are uh, produced when you do cardio will boost your mood and they've actually been proven to help relieve both anxiety and depression. Okay, so just trust me when I say uh, cardio releases so many good things in your body uh, you've just got to get up and do it and fight for yourself and love yourself more than you do currently uh, Joseph Diver wrote true about cardio I've read that even the most muscle bound people like Dwayne Johnson Hemsworth for um, etc do like 30 minutes of cardio before they even do any weights in a session to make the weight training more efficient how smart is that? So you know how cardio gives you all of the, those five release or um, hormone releases. Imagine feeling unstoppable and amazing before your strength session. So that's a really smart tip. You know, I never knew that they do that. I do tell people to warm up um, or try to get uh, 10 minutes of cardio in before our sessions. Um, so there's another reason you guys should warm up on the treadmill, um, go for a jog or use a cross trainer. Um, exercise doesn't just produce more hormones though, okay? It actually helps to reduce the levels of cortisol and adrenaline in the body. So both of those chemicals in high doses can cause stress. I'm pretty sure they actually do cause stress. So simply by reducing these, uh, cortisol and adrenaline in your body you'll be able to reduce the amount of stress that your brain feels it goes without saying that reducing negative chemicals and increasing positive chemicals results in a huge shift towards feeling happier hello Simran nice of you to join us we're just talking about um, cardio and why you must do it once I get off you can watch this on the replay to watch what you missed before so where were we um, so as well as uh, producing the positive chemicals what cardio uh, activity also does is it reduces the negative chemicals in the body which is cortisol and adrenaline and what happens after that is you start feeling even better because these chemicals get reduced in the body uh, cortisol not a good chemical to have especially if you're on a fat loss journey so do everything you can to help yourself, okay? How much exercise is enough? Look, cardio workouts, they're great for your mental health and your happiness. Um, studies have shown that 30 to 60 minutes of exercise three to five times a week will give you significant mental health benefits. The benefits I spoke about just before. You don't need to go all out to gain these benefits, research has also shown that just a short stroll can improve your mood. Okay, so if you aren't very fit at the moment, then start small. Like I said when I started jogging, I just started jogging 500 meters and then walking, jogging another 500 meters and then walking until I could jog a kilometer and then walk, and then I could jog two kilometers and then walk. Now I can jog five kilometers without stopping and I feel like Rocky in that movie once I reach that point. Um, so my next goal would be eight kilometers or 10 kilometers, which I have to start getting onto now. Um, where are we? In terms of quantity, I found this so interesting. Um, there was a Canadian study of walkers um, and they found that single 30 minute daily exercise sessions had a bigger effect on mood than splitting your cardio into three 10 minute sessions um, throughout the day. 
So you know how sometimes I've said uh, you can do 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon, 10 minutes um, at night um, because cardio all accumulates to the amount of minutes that you do in the week. The study found that doing it in a full 30 minute lot actually has a bigger effect on your mood than splitting it into um, little bite-sized chunks like 10 minute sessions. So if you can try to do your exercise for the day in one session rather than three little sessions um, like a big walk is better than a few small walks here and there so i found that really interesting i didn't know that hi rebecca we're talking about why you must do cardio uh, feel free to write any questions let me just check if i've got any here who joined us hi brad hi ash nice of you to join us why we must do cardio um, i'm going to put this up on the replay so don't stress if you've missed out we're nearly finished um, but this point I want to drive in, okay, so if, if you're not feeling the best, if there's any anxiety or depression or unhappiness in your life at the moment, try to make sure you do a full 30 minute chunk of exercise rather than 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, okay. Um, types of exercise. I have the lives on why you must do strength training and why you must do mobility training in uh, last week's live and the one before that. So you must do everything, guys. I've listed the benefits um, in all of those lives and I've also got blogs on my website, which I'll post up um, below um, so that you know why you should do everything. You don't just stick to one thing. Okay, you've got to do strength training, you've got to do mobility training, and you've got to do cardio training. And find the joy in it, and find the joy in having that balance in your life. Um, I also was reading a study, I've got the notes right in front of me, um, and people felt a lot happier after a moderate intensity training session than after a higher or lower intensity session. Isn't that interesting? And that was based on strength training. So if you go too hard or if you go too soft, um, they found that if you do a nice, moderate, balanced, hard, but not too hard workout, your uh, the effects on your mood are actually better than when you go uh, too hard or too slow. If cardio um, and strength training are not your thing, then perhaps a more relaxed exercise like yoga or Tai Chi will suit you. Each of these have similar, maybe smaller benefits um, or less benefits than cardio and strength training such as relieving stress and uh, depression. But they can also add um, benefits like relaxing the mind and quieting the mind okay so I do a lot of yoga um, I have a nice quiet mind and I do meditate a lot which most of you all know um, it's important to find something that works for you you're different to everyone else so make sure you listen to you and you'll know when you have found the right thing because you start feeling stronger you start feeling more well and you start feeling more excited and you start feeling happier um, we're far more likely to do something and stick to it if we enjoy it so I have found with my small group training people stick to it because they love it they love the social aspect they love the variety they love me doing all the hard work and them just coming in and saying what do we do today coach um, Joseph wrote, if you have time to answer, did the study only talk about 30 minute effect on mood or also weight loss uh, slash overall effects for the full 30 minutes? No, they just talked about mood. Um, so three times 10 minute sessions still gives you the weight loss slash overall health benefits, but you need the 30 minute blocks for a better mood. Correct. So. Look, if you have a fat loss goal and you don't have that 30 minute chunk, do those three 10 minute blocks at least through the day. But if you are suffering more so with mental health or um, you aren't feeling 100% happy, I would recommend doing a big 30 minute chunk. 
um, in one hit because that will give you a nice release of all of those hormones that we spoke about before and that's what we want we want those chemicals to just start filtering into our brain um, I hope that answers your question uh, Katie Diver and we love you I love you um, what else do we need to talk about before I go so um, find something that works for you when it comes to cardio um, if you're gonna start jogging and stuff start slow and you must have a recovery routine do not start jogging thinking that you're not gonna get a sore knee a sore ankle a sore calf a sore hip a sore back don't be silly okay you will you need to warm up well you need to be mobile you need to be strong so make sure you do your mobility and your strength training and your recovery okay um, although a 45 minute run outdoors might have the greatest impact on your mood if you don't want to do it then you're less likely to continue the cardio for the rest of your life. So remember I said the more you do the cardio in your life for years, the better your life is going to start getting. It's not a five minute a week thing. This is a rest of your life thing. Okay, so don't stress out about it. Just find a way to fit it into your life. And you can. Um, no matter how much dopamine your body rewards you with, if you hate running, you're not going to do it. Okay, so find something else. Uh, team sports might be more up your street, playing tennis, squash, netball, football. Um, they all have the same positive effect on your mood. Um, and added into that, you'll also get the social aspect of um, exercise. Or come to one of my Friday sessions which is uh, cardio 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 if you don't know what to do or you want to try something different come and do one of our cardio sessions all right so how are we going for time you know what's funny I don't actually have the time on me and I can't see what the time is so I hope I haven't talked your ear off um, who's here Mari hello forward hello nice to see you um, I will pop this up on the replay um, I did put up a blog recently um, with my top eight reasons for how exercise can make you a happier person that's on the website um, I'll just quickly run through them the first point for me is increased energy I love going through my day having bounds and bounds of energy uh, once you have bounds of energy you can perform better you're always in like a peak state um, and you're confident with your choices and your actions and your decisions and your food thanks Katie it's 10 23 <laughs> I don't even know what time I started um, so make sure if you're lacking in energy you get some cardio into your life um, think of your body like a savings account pay yourself first do what you need to do for you first that way you'll be a better mum. That way you'll be a better boss. That way you'll be a better colleague. That way you'll be a better worker. That way you'll be a better friend. That way you'll be a better partner, okay? You must put yourself first before anything. Otherwise, something in your life will start to suffer. Two, it makes you become more resilient. So when you get pushed to your edge and you start learning to keep pushing past that edge, you feel like you can handle anything got a public speaking event whatever I can do that because I just ran 6k's and I pushed myself past my 5k boundary um, I, I really found that benefit when I started jogging um, decreased stress we spoke about that that's another uh, top reason why you should do cardio it will reduce the cortisol and adrenaline in your body which are the negative chemicals and it will increase the positive chemicals how amazing is that Number four, healthy aging. Um, the, the one thing that I want you all to have is independence into your old age um, so that you don't have to look uh, have people looking after you. A healthy spine means a healthy life, means a healthy body, means a healthy mind. Okay, so that's what we're aiming for, to prolong life and increase our energy. Healthy aging, there is nothing like it. So make sure you do your mobility and your stretching, yoga if you need to, your recovery, so that that way you're not jamming up parts of your body. Um, number five, 
Another great reason is it reduces your anxiety and your depression. The rates of these two diseases are super high um, and we can just fix that just by incorporating a regular cardio routine. Um, so please start. I know when you have anxiety, you have a lot of fears. Um, and I know when you have depression, you just don't want to do much. You don't want to associate with people. Um, but you, you've got to get up. You've got to snap out of it. You've got to get up and find someone supportive to help you. If you don't have someone that believes in you or supports you, then come and see me and I'll help you. Six, better sleep. That goes without saying. So many people aren't sleeping well. Look, there's other reasons too. The phone, the lights, the stress in your brain. You're not winding down properly. You're not getting things out of your head. You're probably not journaling. You're probably not eating well. You might have high amounts of sugar in your diet. You might have high amounts of chemicals in your foods. You might just be around toxic people. Um, exercise is one way to help improve your sleep as well. Number seven, for those of you that are sick at the moment, it helps to strengthen your immune system. So exercise can help by flushing out bacteria from your lungs and it may also flush out carcinogens by increasing the activity of your lymphatic system which drains waste from the body. Um, so when your blood's pumping, you're also increasing um, the rate at which antibodies and white blood cells run through the body. So they detect and attack an illness. Um, our bodies are so intelligent. It blows my mind. I love the human body. Um, just remember your exercise to recovery ratio, okay? Don't think because you're sick, you should do 500 minutes of cardio. Listen to your body first, be smart, okay? Number eight, my favorite, um, another one of my favorites is you live and you don't just exist. I find that unhappiness can stem from not actually living. And I mean like, like really living, uh, taking risks, being playful, not losing your imagination, trying new things and not feeling like you're just on repeat, do you know? Not feeling like you're losing yourself, um, not, like just existing every day. Happiness can come when you feel strong enough to do anything you choose to do. You wanna climb the Harbour Bridge, do it. You wanna run up a mountain, do it. When you can engage in play with kids or grandkids, um, or if you join friends for various activities like rock climbing or something, um, or you can do more things with your partner, like a really nice hike. Life is amazing. It becomes more brilliant. When you don't even have to think about whether you're fit enough for basic activities, that is a great place to be. Life is short, okay? It is very short. So never lose your sense of play, okay? Um, that's something that I wanted to drive home. Um, being independent and having the strength in your body, the fitness in your body to be able to do what you want to do. So I hope that helps and I hope that's motivated you to do some cardio today. The sun is shining. So get out there and get some vitamin D on your skin. It will help you sleep. It will make you happier. And then the cardio activity will increase your mood by releasing all of those hormones that I spoke about before. Stay healthy, eat well, and I'll see you at the gym floor or I'll see you next week for my next live. Bye guys. Any questions? Got a few minutes before I press finish and end. What am I drinking? It's a turmeric coffee. So I make a coffee and I put some turmeric in there and then I put some cinnamon. Um, I put, uh, spices are very potent. They're very potent and they give us really good nutrients. So add them everywhere. And that way I make it a super coffee. Remember coffee has benefits for us. It's really, not that bad to have a coffee. No questions?
All right, time for me to go service my car. I also have an audition today. Who's that? Olivia, hi, I'm gonna get off now. <laughs> but watch this on the replay. All right, what's my audition for? I have an audition for a TV commercial. I need to go fix my hair. All right, I'm off, no questions. Going once, going twice. Are you gonna do cardio now? Yes, finished. See you guys. End and.